What's up guys, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Thanks for stopping by to tune in to today's video. You know, we're always on the lookout for fragrances that meet a couple of very important criteria. That is, they smell great, obviously, but they're really good in terms of the price point. So those two things are often hard to find together. Pretty recently though, I lucked out with a couple of relatively new releases that we're gonna get into in this video. I'm gonna talk about why I think they're great cheapies and will be even better future cheapies when the price continues to drop and how they smell and when are the best time that you can wear and utilize these. I've got that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a couple of great cheapies, the two fragrances that were relatively recently released. The first one is a Hugo Boss fragrance. Hugo Jeans, which sounds like a great casual title to a fragrance. Now this is the first time that I've actually talked about Hugo Jeans and this second fragrance we're going to talk about on my channel. So I want to give you guys the what's up in terms of what it smells like, what it looks like, and what I think it's best used for. I'm not going to go into the unboxing or anything today. I just did want to show you the packaging, what it looks like. The red and blue theme I'm really digging here because of course the idea is blue jeans, right? So blue so you've got this really dark navy blue with this small red patch and the lettering is Hugo. This is a continuation of the Military ID Canteen style bottle with the nylon connector. But the good news is if you purchase a tester of this bottle, it'll always come with a lid, right? Because it's attached by that nylon strip there. So Hugo jeans, that's what it looks like. I really enjoy the look of it. I've always liked this style. Sitting on the shelf, it looks great. And if you happen to want to put it in your pocket, although it's kind of bulky, it has that little slight curvature to the back of the bottle that will fit against your leg in your pocket. So there you go. A couple of neat qualities for the presentation. What does it smell like? That's the important question. Let's talk a little bit about the notes that make up Hugo Jeans. Hugo Jeans features top notes of grapefruit and lime, with heart notes of juniper berry and peppermint, resting on a base of cedarwood, sandalwood, and vetiver. So with the fruity opening of grapefruit and lime and this really incredible heart of juniper and peppermint. Now, juniper is already like opening the front door of your house on a cold winter day. That cold wind strikes you in the face, immediately wakes you up, and prepares you for that brisk wind if you're walking outside. Same thing with peppermint. It's a wake up call to your taste buds, to your olfactive sense, like an actual essential oil of peppermint is incredible. So having those two together in the heart of the fragrance is definitely gonna bolster the energy of Hugo Jeans, and it definitely does. So the open in the heart is really what makes this fragrance shine. The base is just a simple kind of smooth, creamy, woody with the, the vetiver, the sandalwood, and the cedarwood combination. Those are in just about all of Ben's fragrance. And they act as kind of the counsel to the other notes. They keep them together. They help them be on their best behavior, you know, and, and act in a way that they should act in terms of any longevity and any kind of great scent trail. And in terms of longevity, this is about a decently average fragrance. You're going to get probably six to seven hours out of this fragrance. I think this is one of the better releases in the canteen style bottle. At least to my nose, Hugo Jean smells sort of like a combination of Dolce & Gabbana's light blue summer which is a new release and then hugo man the reflective edition it has that kind of lime brisk refreshing fruity open that this does then it has a a heart that is extremely uplifting and energetic and kind of a slice of summer that is the summer edition of light blue. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. So one could even say it's kind of like the, the discount version of light blue summer to a degree, but it's definitely not like light blue summer in terms of overall smell. It's its own thing. It definitely carries that casual vibe. So let's talk about what we know so far about the fragrance. So it's about six to seven hours in terms of longevity. It's gonna be best worn and best utilized in a casual situation. This is not an upscale in any way 
not an upscale fragrance. Even if you are low key dressed up, like you're in a suit and tie to give a presentation at work and you splash on Hugo jeans, it's just a bit too casual smelling. You'd wanna go with something, you know, a little bit more um, like Aqua de Joe which can be casual but has a bit of refinement to it to be on par with the way that you want to come across and the way that you're dressed so it's all casual it's built into the name hugo jeans so obviously it's a white t-shirt and jeans fragrance it's a beach bum fragrance i think this would be a great vacation fragrance to take with you and even as a relatively new fragrance it's already dropped in price so it's really inexpensive that's why i call it a cheapie right now you can get a 4.2 ounce bottle which is 125 mil for 40 bucks you know 40 bucks very well worth it um and if you are collecting those canteen style bottles like i am it definitely looks great in amongst the other colors and the other hugo editions <laughs> All right, the next cheapie I want to talk to you about is actually one from Abercrombie and Fitch. I didn't have a lot of expectations for this one, but it kind of surprised me. That's why I try to tell you guys, A, never judge a book by its cover, and B, don't prejudge a fragrance based on other people's opinions before you've had a chance to smell it, because you're going to be the best judge for yourself as to whether or not you think a fragrance is worthy of purchasing. Hopefully, I can give you guys the just the highlights of what's great about it, and if there are any negatives about it, I'll let you know that as well. But the fragrance is Abercrombie. Crombie and Fitch away. I really like this bottle. It's a nice little presentation. It's the perfect size. It fits well in your hand. Of course, looks great on the shelf. Of course, Abercrombie and Fitch is very well known for their design and their style. And this is a, a nice little presentation specifically for a cheapie. So we know it looks good. What does it smell like? And what are the notes that make up Abercrombie and Fitch Away. Abercrombie and Fitch Away features top notes of pineapple, grapefruit, and violet leaf, with heart notes of ginger, white pepper, and Egyptian geranium, resting on a base of blonde woods, Haitian vetiver, and amber. So instead of having water aroma chemicals like cologne or others, this is taking sort of the aqua de joe approach. It's taking fresh, notes fragrant notes combining them to give the impression of aquatic and i do have an example of a fragrance that this smells a little bit alike but i actually like this better and that might surprise you because many people are giving kudos to this particular fragrance which is also an aquatic fragrance i'm going to give you kind of an example of how it sprays of course you have to bend this down the atomizer is very simple and easy to use it's silver you just push down on it it's a good quality atomizer and it sprays quite a bit out. I really like Away. Let me tell you that straight up front. The reality of the fragrance is that it does have some decent longevity. Similar to Hugo Jeans, this is going to be about a six to seven hour fragrance. In terms of strength and ebullience, the fragrance bubble that it creates, that I think is a bit weaker. And I think that's what's causing some people not to like the fragrance, but it smells great. And in fact, the fragrance I'm, I'm gonna compare it to, and actually I like it better than this one, is a Jimmy Choo fragrance, it's Jimmy Choo Aqua. When this first came out, I had my doubts about it, but I wore it, smelled it, I actually really like it. And I think it's a great cheapie now that the price has dropped. Hopefully it will continue to drop it. Jimmy Choo Aqua is a great aquatic fragrance and this smells very similar, but I actually like the open. So we've got a lot of things going on here in the fragrance. Pineapple and grapefruit, but then you get a little bit of a violet that gives that open a bit of an edge. And I really like what Violet Leaf does for this it adds a bit of green which kind of spruces up the the fruit it makes the fruit feel like it's going somewhere instead of just this hits here and then gone which is most fruit notes you've got ginger and pepper to add volume you've got geranium which gives it density what makes this a good lighter fragrance is that blonde woods a little bit of vetiver and of course amber amber is just there as a nice fixative in the base necessarily you can't pick out the amber but you can pick out this light woody base that goes perfectly with the aquatic theme. And that's why I really like Abercrombie and Fitch Away. Now, unlike Hugo Jeans, this is a 100 mil bottle or 3.4 fluid ounce, and you can get a 100 mil bottle for about 42 bucks on fragrancenet.com. So that's a great price, I think, for a good quality aquatic fragrance, which I'm always on the lookout for good quality aquatic fragrance. Of course, Aqua de Jo sets the tone you know, for all of those, it kind of set the baseline. Of course, this is obviously just under Aqua de Joe, but I really like how it fuses those fruit notes in with just a bit of spice in the violet leaf and geranium. It gives it a really nice kind of upper class 
character. Now, while this is a casual fragrance as well, uh, I would actually say that you could wear this one to do your presentation in a suit and tie at your job and it would smell much more appropriate than Hugo jeans. So this one has a bit of a, I don't want to say refined character, but it does smell like you spend a bit of money on it as opposed to the more casual style of Jimmy Choo Aqua. That's how I feel about Abercrombie and Fitch Away. And for 40 bucks for a 100 ml bottle and then $39.95 for Hugo jeans, you can't go wrong. So less than a hundred bucks and you've got two releases that are very versatile. Now these are summertime fragrances. There's nothing wrong with wearing aquatic fragrance in cooler weather too. There are some benefits to that. In fact, one of my favorite go-to fragrances in cool weather, not winter, but cool weather is Chrome Aqua. There's something about the crispness of the aquatic notes in Chrome Aqua uh, and vis-a-vis -vis away that that's great for cooler weather uh, but also summertime fair all summer long high heat fragrances these both make high heat fragrances very lightly sweet around the edges but not even perceptible and that's what makes them great high heat fragrances as well and makes them super versatile so there you go guys two new fragrances you can add to your cheapy list or your summertime rotation i'm always on the lookout for new summertime fragrances that can be somewhat of a hidden gem. Straight up, these are the perfect cheapy fragrances in terms of price and in terms of versatility. So when you can, definitely check out Hugo Jeans and Abercrombie and & Fitch Away. Well guys, that is pretty much a wrap of my coverage of these two great cheapies, Abercrombie & Fitch Away and Hugo Jeans. If you're a younger person, you're starting out, these make great versatile fragrances that, that you can wear at school, at home, every day average use and wear is perfect for those as well. Thanks so much for stopping by to check out today's video. As always, thank you so much for your continued support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow.